Hey, it's Billy D here. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a battery pack for my four-wheeler. I have a 2006 LTZ 400. It's a Suzuki uh, 400. It has a real big uh, lead-acid battery that went bad a couple years ago because I don't ride it enough. So what I have here is some, these are A123 batteries. Um, they're a lot safer than any kind of LiPo battery like these where they could be all puffy and catch on fire and burn your butt because the battery's right underneath your butt. And what these are, these are just some batteries I've had from planes for over the years, and these ones have been through a couple crashes, but they still work fine, but I just don't trust them as, so much inside of a, a, a jet anymore. So what I'm going to do with them, these are only 1100 milliamp packs, and what I need is about 2200, 2300 milliamps. So I'm going to parallel, parallel them, so I'll make them 2200, then I'll series them up. So then I'll have a, a basically a four cell 2200 pack, which is I think 14 volts or so. And the way I have to do this in there, I think I'm going to make them like this. That right there is a bigger space than the bottom of the old battery. So I can lay them flat and I can have all that extra room to put stuff under the seat. All right, Billy D, uh, let me get these all soldered up and I'll be back here in a, in a jiffy. Okay, Billy D, I'm done with building the pack. So what I did is basically I have two, four, six, eight cells here. But it, it, it's seen four cells. So every two of these are paralleled. And then series up. So that's a four cell pack. Um, let's see, we have voltage. Should be around 10 volts. I didn't even check this yet. I'm sorry, not 10 volts, 14 volts. There's 13.5. So the voltage is good. And uh, one little hint I want to give you when you, if you're ever going to do a pack on your own, first of all, be very careful because you can uh, catch yourself on fire. Uh, biggest thing is I found out is to make sure first of all your batteries are good cycle them somehow and on your charger or whatever cycle them see how many milliamps you're putting in them and taking out and what I like to do is I'll charge them all up so they're all balanced all charged fully before I put them together because it stinks if two batteries are completely dead and the rest are charged it takes forever to balance the pack out correctly so the easiest way is either make sure they're all at the same voltage or charge them all up whatever so I'm gonna go try it in four-wheeler and We'll get the video camera out there. We'll go try it. It's going to be a bit hard to see, but the pack fits with no problem. It's going to fit way down in there. There's a there's a um, flat repair kit sitting in there. So let's see if this sucker starts up. I haven't started this four wheeler in a while either. Let's see, chokes on. Let's see if she starts. <laughs> easier than I thought. Alright, let's start turn, starting with the headlight on, see what it does. Hmm. Little sucker works pretty good for that little battery. See if it dims the light that much. I shouldn't put a meter on it. That's good enough for me. I'll leave the light on see how long it takes to kill the headlight and whatnot, but all right, Billy D here on my homemade four-wheeler batter, battery LTZ 400. That's all it is. No big deal. It's probably hard as heck to see because it's pitch dark out here in the shed. And we're supposed to get that hurricane here coming up. All right, Billy D. Hope you like the old, uh, the old, no, the new battery for the four-wheeler.